Guilty Gear Exar. Rev 2. Guilty Gear Exar Rev 2 Guilty Gear Exhaust. Train. Who dares to enter the mayhem?
Can you hear? Can you hear? I think maybe you can. Yes, you can. Oh, look at that. It's an empty chair. Isn't that cool? Uh, thank you. Enjoy the show. <laughs> All right. Let's get this show on the road. Got some Guilty Gear to play. Show you guys some stuff. Probably show me some stuff. What do we got here? We got TMAD 40 Blue. Yes, we can hear. We got Sophie, we can. Tomiki, oh, hey. Uh, the game audio is crazy quiet, though. Let me, uh... Let me turn that up a bit. I'll be right back. We actually turned it down, I think, for one of the other streams because we we're getting like crazy gain here. Cool, all right guys, let me know. What do you think? Too loud, too quiet, too normal, too good? Found that one. Heard that one before. Ah, so you let me know. Better. Okay, good. Alrighty. This is great. What are we doing? Like, what's going on here? Oh, the Slayer Pants. You know, checking out his vampire. His vampire nest. What's everybody doing? How was everybody's weekend? Oh, uh, God. I know it's God. No, it's actually just me. Ha. Uh, uh, no chain combos for somewhere here, apparently. Wow. Yep, you can catch on that. Ooh. Probably get a recovery before that ever happens anyway. You know, I didn't know what to play. I'll be honest. I had no idea what I wanted to play. I'm going to go turn down my mic a little bit. No weekend. My weekend was good. Oh, that's good. And the end of my week was filled with work and pain. Well, that's the end of the week. Unless you're speaking of the weekend. The end of the week is almost always filled with pain. Mostly because you're trying to get out of work or you're looking forward to the weekend or something or... You know, and then everything hits the fan. Or not even. Maybe just one thing. That's enough. Enough to shut you off. Your mic sounds fine already. Oh. Well, I mean, it was... You know, I'm sorry. I, I, just, I hear the echo from the TriCaster back there. The monitors and stuff. You know, I really didn't know what game to play today. I really didn't. I played some Killer Instinct a little bit earlier before the stream, and I just I uh, wasn't feeling it. You know, I got uh, I got the definitive editions or whatever, the ultra editions of all of them, and I'm still waiting on getting getting what's his name Eagle for free. So every time I log in, I'm like, hey, can I get him or is he there? And it's like, no. I don't know. I'll probably have to wait like a month or two. I think he just came out, so I can't be too picky about that um and then i was thinking near automata but i was like yeah i don't really feel like playing like an adventure game because then i'll feel committed good uh in the bathroom here okay cool cool how we going uh let's see what else what else was i thinking about playing oh you know all the other fighting games and stuff you know i was thinking about playing um Bit of Kingdom Hearts, not Kingdom Hearts, uh, Arcana Heart, Kingdom Hearts, um, not my cup of tea. Uh, Arcana Heart, I was thinking about playing. The 
thought about throwing on some other things. Thought about buying a couple things. I was like, well, maybe I could just buy a new game. But I'm like, I got plenty of games and I'm working on a game. So I'm like, man, I got enough. I'm good. As it is, I'm going to have to order a bunch of books and stuff. Ugh. Anyway. My week was pretty good. I, uh, let's see, what did I do? Uh, nothing. Um, Friday, there was some adventures with Jake. Saturday, there was alone time. Right? Yeah. Because Friday I went on, I think I went on stream Friday. Was it Friday I went on stream or Thursday? I don't know. It's one of those days that ended in Y. Anyway, I went on stream then. Um... That was nice. It was nice to get back on. It's nice to be on now. I mean, this is great, guys. Like, I actually take time off um, from everything. Uh, so, yeah, there's... Uh, let's see, and then Sunday... I slept almost all Sunday. My schedule is, like, completely reversed. I woke up last night at 9.30-ish at night. And I've been up since then. I started off by playing some Stellaris and listening to C++, the CPP 2016, all of that stuff. Or not all of it. I'm not, I don't think I'm like halfway through, but I was listening to a bunch of that. Um, Xard's menu music. Uh, your mic sounds great. Xard's menu music. Yeah, this is Xard's menu music. Is it not good? Do you not like it? I can throw on something else if you want to hear something else. I'm just chatting, like letting people get all warmed up and come in and stuff. I should just like go into arcade or yeah, something and just now let's just Versus. go versus. Sure. I'll just chat it up while we're getting warmed up here. Uh, let's play Faust. There's Faust is a weirdo and I like Faust. Um, and what else? Had a great conversation with a friend last night. That was really cool. Um, hoping to get them on stream at some point. You know, I mean, if you guys, if, if you guys are into seeing new people and meeting awesome, beautiful people, as this person tends to be. Um, so, Okay, that's top. That's right, I'm fighting the computer and it's fighting back. I'm like, wait, I thought I was on practice. Haha! Nope, I'm in front of you. Nope, I'm behind you. Didn't really take much. I guess I just had to twirl around a bit. Faust does a lot of damage anyway, so it's not like I really needed to know how to play as him. Um, what do we got here? I love it. Left my ass off. Well, you might want to put your ass back on. I am the warmest of warm up. Oh, yeah, I bet so, huh? That's what you to say, bud? And Mr. Hot Pants. Um, I can just do this all day with the computer. It's probably not going to do anything. Blam! Oh, well, that hurt. I actually like Elf Elf. He's a big character. I like his gun, his gun stuff. See if I can do it. Yep, got her. So this is Faust's ending move. Yep, that's right. Gruesome. Terrible. Boom. Faust wins. Uh, I usually like to listen to the blood curtain screens of my enemies, but this works. Sophie, you exaggerate. But you kind of don't at the same time. What? What is? What is this? What is this? What is? That goes down. Yeah, that goes down. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. So it's. I can't do far. There we go. Slash. Woo! You gave her the tongue. You like stick man? Cool. Yeah, Faust is, uh, he's actually one of the more powerful characters in this game. Like, I've noticed that, like, he's got such an oddball way of, of playing that, you know, it's hard to figure out sometimes what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's a teleport, like, I don't know the frame data on a lot of this stuff. Um, he plays Dizzy, because Dizzy was one of my favorite characters in Guilty Gear Double X. Ooh, we're gonna go with the dark skin lady. How you doing, brown skin lady? Uh, what am I doing here? Eh, we'll fight against the lady. The lady is awesome. Fight against the man. Um, and then I'll go back. I might actually, you know, what? actually, I might do some practice with Faust. He's in, like I said, every character in here is interesting. It's really. How do I put it? The only the only thing I have, I'm just like, I don't know what to do, is because like I kind of want to do it all, but that requires like an extreme devotion of time. Um, I don't know. I think I'd look a lot better in that outfit. You, am I important? Yes, sir. Very important. Wrong. I am super important. <laughs> How oh, to be a Japanese lion man. Alright, so what are we doing here? Okay, so bubbles. Alright. She's keep away. Just so you guys know. She's all keep away. So, it's a lot of... Uh, yeah, a lot of that. Like, a lot of stay away from me. A lot of... Oh. Yeah, see? And then, like, you know, play through. Yeah, you just gotta get that last one out, man. That's really all it is. But uh, anyway, see, I had, I had trouble making up what's going on, or making up what's going on, uh, figuring out what I wanted to do. Man, I've been watching way too much. Anyway, um, figuring out what I wanted to do today as far as the screen. Um, Mainly because, like, I was not really in the mood. I mean, I hate to say it, but I really wasn't, like, in the mood to, like, get into something, like, really deep. But I thought this game would work because I'm sure all of us heard about Dragon Ball or Dragon Fighter Z, I think it's what it's called. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is made by the same guy. Well, I don't know about the exact same team, but it's uh, published by Arc System. Um, and I believe Namco Bandai? This is the proper name for that company, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's snippy about shit like that. It's hard to tell now. Which, uh, oh, here. I want to do her ultimate. Check this out. So... She has this... Where is it? Can list. She has ultimate ball explosion gamma ray. Don't be overprotective. Imperial ray. When you use the key button is properly... Okay, so let's try this one. Alright. No, don't! Uh, that did He's just like... Rah! See? You know, that's from... What's his name? The guy who did... I don't know if he did that, like, he, that art that art style of, like, the explosion. I don't know if he did this specifically. It was the dude who did, um... 
Neon Genesis, Neon Genesis Evangelion. He also did uh, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind, um, or Nausicaa from the Valley of the Wind. I can't remember. Or uh, the Valley of the Wind. And he uh, he did the scene at the end when the ancients attack. Um, and it was very much like this. So the laser hit, and then it explodes. And that was like. I guess, I don't know if that was extremely new, but it's certainly a, a, a fuzzy technique back then. Um, and it's, you know, overused now like crazy. I mean, it still has its effect. I mean, it's amazing. But, um... Dizzy. You know, because the girl's got an angel and a devil on, which got life and death on her back. That's no pressure. Uh, you could play IRL and eat food on couch with cheese in the couch. Also, the game is quite loud. Oh, it's, it's loud now, is it? Oh, okay, well, let me go turn it down. Oh, let me pull it. Oh, this is why my mic gets turned off because it gets jammed inside the cushion. Why is the front door wide open? Hold on a second, guys. I don't know. Front door is wide open. Not sure what's going on. Not gonna touch it for the moment. See if Bobby's here. Are you want the front door though? Okay. That's what we should get on the stream. We should totally get big on his scooter on stream, just because it's like kind of the most adorable thing in the world uh, all right so i turned up the game music a little bit i also you know i'm gonna close the front door the weirdos don't walk in here oh wait too late i'm here uh, we had pizza big surprise we had pizza for lunch isn't this great this is like the only stream where it's like i just kind of like sometimes people just kind of pop in and out uh, it's press foot, it's big foot, he broke in. Dude, I'm telling you, right? Like, I just, I, I jumped in, and they haven't been able to get rid of me since. In fact, I can guarantee you that's like, Who dares easily 66% of the opinion in this place. Uh, what do we got here? <gasps> Eno, or I know, or 1NO. Maybe it's supposed to be number one? I don't know. You know, sometimes when things get translated, they uh, end up in funny places. Huh. See, what I really like about this character, especially, you know, is... You're gonna see it in a sec here. Oh, you know who I wanna fight? I wanna fight against Potemkin. And do you know, wanna, know, wanna know why I wanna fight against Potemkin? Look at this dude's intro. Okay. This is amazing. This is freaking insane. I love this guy's intro. In fact, he's actually one of my favorite characters, so I don't know why I'm not just playing as Potemkin and getting better with him. Just because he's just, ah! Giant machine of love and peace. No idea why I like this character. Look at this. Airdrop. Boom. Oh, yeah, bam! Yeah, Daddy's home. Oh, please. Please, no, Daddy. What are you gonna do? You gonna spank me? You gonna spank me, Daddy? Spank me? Oh. Anyway. There's that. There's that. No, there's that. What does that do? Get up. What does that do? That does something. That does something. Oh, okay, I see. Hold on. Alright, that's... Oh, okay. Alright. Oh. Oh, wow, he can do it more than once, and that's a combo. I know, it's not that. It's this? Yeah. So, did anybody catch any of Evo? Uh, dude that comes by here, Aaron, he's been on stream. Um, you and I were talking about it. He actually was way ahead of it. I just, just picked peeking on things. But, um, that dude's like, 
on his on his news, and uh, I was I caught up with him on it, and it was pretty good, dude. Like, I mean, I'm not a fan of some of the games or whatever, and opinions or whatever of companies and schools, but you know, dude, just like like get off me. That okay. Ooh, balls. But um, I saw. Let's see. I caught up on this game. Um, not a lot. No, no. I mean, you know, unfor. I mean, I hate to say this, but unfortunately, like, for Street Fighter V USA had a pretty good showing, but um, for the other games, not as strong as. I mean, you know, Mortal Kombat, Injustice, that sort of thing. Uh, I think Marvel vs. Capcom Ultimate Three, I think, was the one that. Uh, oh, she's got a badass uh, super duper move too. Let's find out what that is. Uh, longing, desperation, ultimate fortissimo. Let's do ultimate fortissimo. Oh, there you go. He's done. Uh huh? Turn around. Turn around. Not like they drew nipples on her anyway. Oh, uh, let's see. Because I like the electricity. Dope. Wait, can I angle that? Oh, I can forward? Okay, so backwards. Regular is straight ahead, but if I press forward and slash, it's up at an angle. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that. Oh wait, is it this? No. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. Yeah, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. Oh, I missed. And it cost me my life. Um. Hey, you're gonna play some Roller Coaster Tycoon with this as a background screen. Cool. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, let's see, is that the one? Yeah. What was special about it? Uh, the first one? Or I think even maybe even now, but I know the first one. There's, uh, there's something special about that game. What's interesting about it. Uh, and it's creation. I don't know if you know what that is. I'm pretty sure that I'm talking about the game. Yeah, Roller Coaster. Any Roller Coaster Tycoon? Yeah. Yeah, what was, what was what the historical thing on Roller Coaster, coaster Tycoon here, bud? First one, look it up if you need to. I understand. There you go. Hit him in the head with the guitar. That pretty much knocked anybody out. Still can't figure out what it is that draws me to this character. Hmm. Probably the guitar. Uh, let's see here. Since we seem to have warmed up pretty good here, but okay. Uh, made some cash lay. MOM, medals, and customize your character as you progress. Dojo, bunch of training stuff, online. I don't really feel like getting my balls kicked in right now. Uh, collection. Alright, so we're gonna go to Arcade. Yo, what up? Ooh, wow. I think I have a light. If I don't, then it's on my desk. Yeah. Hopefully. Am I right? Yes! Awesome. Alright. But you're basically done. Nice. Congratulations. To enter the mayhem. Really? Wow. Alright. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I never let anybody fool you into thinking that music and art is an easy thing. Ever. Anybody that knocks music and art 
because it's some fuzzy thing that nobody deserves because there's whatever billion oh, slackers oh, everywhere in every industry. Uh... Oh wait, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, I'm playing M O M M M O M mode. Mom mode. All right. Who dares? Uh, so let's go with somebody I can play just so I can figure out what's going on here. We will play. Uh, we'll soul play with Soul Bad guy. guy. Nah, we always play Soul. I'll play as Venom. I don't really play as Venom that often. And to be honest, he was my main in Guilty Gear X. So there you go. That's the history of my Guilty Gear. I played Guilty Gear One. I don't know, my early, early 20s. Um, bomb set includes bombs and buff items useful in early stages of the game. Includes mortal counter and guaranteed crowd chip for advanced players. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Um, Dogen, I'm pretty sure that the first roller coaster tycoon, and I could be wrong, was programmed in assembly on purpose. Um, and you can look that up. So I don't. Obviously, it's not the only game ever, because that would be silly. Obviously, Assembly came, came there first. But, um, you know, before just flipping switches and, you know, looking at blinking lights, you know, like they did on the Enterprise uh, during Kirk's time. But, uh, yeah, the uh, first roller coaster tycoon, from what I understand, is programmed in Assembly. The guy who made them is a madman. He is, and I believe he still works. I don't know for this for a fact. But I think he actually worked on Planet Coaster or something, unless he's vaporized due to overintelligence. Uh, oh, I could have played his Viking or Answer or any of these packs. Just go random. Yeah, let's do that. Venom. Versus. Answer. Get ready to run. I mean, I don't think programming an assembly is as hard as people think. I just, you know, I just get this feeling like maybe that it's not. And maybe, like, I mean, not saying that it's an easy pass. Not saying, like, you know, I'm gonna just grab my niece and she's just gonna blow. Close. I mean, she could. I don't know. That hurt. Why was that guy hitting me? I'm trying to talk here to stream and. Thank you. Oh, I got the fierce one. Uh, is it just this? He changed it to something else, I know that. What did they change it to? Giga Machine. Oh, it is that. Okay, I thought so. Okay. You're like, this is actually pretty easy, if I do say so myself. Oh, maybe I can't do Super Mew? Okay, so I get medals every time I beat him, but I don't know how long it's going to be when I beat him. Like, I don't know what the deal is here. Why not do a super move? I guess not. Honestly, I don't think I can do a super move, guys. Yeah, I can't. Okay, 
So as you can guess, the idea is to set that that. Oh, there you go. Huh. Easier than beating a... What is that? Dandyism. Badgeless. No badges. I don't need those thinking buddies. Nice. No. Ninja notebook. Drop rate. Oh, I guess I didn't do it fast enough. Huh. Makes me wonder, like... What would be ideal here? Obviously, probably play somebody that, like... Sure, Amelia, there, whatever. Uh, it isn't, but doing a whole game like that is excessive. No, I mean, I'm sure it is excessive. I mean, mobile port for them, you know, mobile. Or, oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, no, it's just, it, you know, it, it is, it's, it's more of a pain and all that stuff, but I guess you know it's gonna work when it works. And that's, that's, you know, cutting out, you know, removing layers of the end. Oh, I don't even get to keep my own health. Well, ball. Looks like I'm gonna be dead very soon. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm going to cancel on this stuff when we're riding. Oh, come on. Oh, I see I have 115 seconds or something. Oh, what the? Oh, I didn't know the computer can control that. No wonder the computer's so damn good. Yeah, apparently that's all it took. Not sure I can tell when I'm done or how many lives. I'll take a look at the screen a little longer. Anything that goes wrong is your fault. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, writing at that level is so close to touching it and touching the electrons. It's like, man, you're sculpting it, dude. If the nose looks funny, that, that ain't me. Four, nothing. Time bonus. Oh, I got that. I missed that. Drop rate, none. Oh no. Total medals acquired 2017. This year. Alright. Uh, is there any word of wisdom? Select any word of wisdom. Go after the bonus stages that say double. Oh, okay, fine. I'll go after that. Venom. Yeah. Versus Leo. I'll pick my nose. The problem is, like, it's stuck in these chain combos, and I don't really see... Like, I don't really see the... the delicacies in this game as well as I think I should. Oh, 
So the question I think really is... Oh boy. See, I thought the ones with the extra stars were going to go harder, but maybe not. Wow. Just obliterate my balls, why don't you? No, that, see, there's no super moves. I can't do super moves. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm sure that was totally unsafe and it's really extremely nice. Not anymore, of course, because that would be... That would be... Oh, come on. That'll do it. Yep, that'll do it. Alright, let's just keep playing, man. F it in the A. Also, let's play a character that's like relatively Ryu ish. That way, I actually know what I'm doing half the time. Oh, yeah, we don't care anymore. Alright. Made nothing. Confirm. Alright. These are so bad guys. Buzz. Ah. Yeah, right. We do biking. The redhead. Cool. Yeah, I can do biking. I mean, who wouldn't, but that's not the point. The point is, I could do this with biking. In other words, I'm interested enough in this character at the moment where I think I could, like, last through actively playing for more than five seconds. Anything else? Uh, sorry, I keep checking chat. Gotta read it out loud, I don't know why. Alright, so. Heaven or hell. Duel. Let's rock. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. That was a clear counter, actually. Not sure how that hit. This was a low. That's an interesting uh, combo right there. Interesting. Double extrusion. Who is the most amazing samurai in the universe? 
Right. As she walked through a Japanese town with the full moon, she thinks to herself, How many dicks did I Three. Four. Five. Yeah. Slow day. Uh, no. Alright, no. No. Uh, no. Because I'm a loser. I'm a loser, baby. Alright, let's figure this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money, 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 money. money. Let's play, let's play against Jacko. Jacko is only one of the most okay. annoying characters to play Jacko. against. But let's do it anyway. What do you got? F it in the A, man. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, uh, if you get a chance, you should check out Drunk and Undrugs Happy Fun Time Hour. I know, I know. Trailer Park Boys. But uh, that's a really good show. In fact, that's pretty much almost completely against the only reason those guys can't seem to do anything other than play a park boys. And that's because of them. But because their fans got it the first time, but not after that. Oh, come on. Get off me, woman. Jeez. There we go, that's right. Oh, come on. Ooh. Got me. Oh boy. That's right, that's one of her legs. Oh, ball. I forgot I'm into it. Oh, that's right. I don't think there's anything I can do about that, right? Yeah, this thing super moves enough and holy smoke. Wanna get rid of it? Ah, off of it. There we go. Oh, it explodes too. Craziness. Oh, let's see how it did in here. I should shave. Definitely shave. I should run. I should eat less. I should be healthy. Need to get swole. Something. Gotta do something. Get my ass out of this building. Get my butt out of this building, maybe. Maybe. Giant tortoise shell. I'm missing all this stuff. I don't know, man. Wanted stage appeared. Completing a wanted stage will increase your class. Which will give you access to new stages. Characters with theme are indicate a wanted stage. So be sure to check it out. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Faust. Isn't that lovely? I don't get it. Oh. Drunkard Shade? I don't know. Movement speed's a little higher. But everything else is down. That's fine. I don't know. I'll just take that one. Whatever. Um, yeah. Be that way. First is first, I gotta start eating healthy, but it costs what a lot when you're going to a place store. Although, you know what, I think one of the things I'm gonna do tomorrow- Oh, I have no health! He's lame. Okay, so I stunned the crap out of him, and then I exploded. He's great now. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh, I get health back when I beat him now. Oh, come on. Hey, man, Dude, when he's on that pole, man, he is a dangerous mofo. Let me just tell you. Ooh, it's literally right on top of me. Why can I not? Okay, I was about to say. Okay. Does that mean they're gonna explode and I just didn't kill them in time? I don't understand that. なにとぞよしなにえんまどのなにとぞよしなにえんまどのあいけんウェンウェンストレートストレートいさだとまなびやをサボりすぎたか記憶と違うはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあは
ゆぴゆぴ So what do I like have to fight like a nobody to like catch back up? How does this work? Like let's fight soul. Let's do it. Do I have no health? Am I trying to beat him as quickly as possible to regain my health? I don't know. We'll find out. Also, combos. Biking. All right, we already know what's going on. Right? Heaven or hell. Cool. No, I have full health. Let's rock. I don't know how to throw a bomb. Oh, okay, that's how you throw a bomb apparently. Oh my gosh, land right on top of the so he didn't explode. I don't get it. Huh. I don't know, I actually I have no idea what's going on. I'm just, you know, sitting on this couch, there's a camera, people are watching me. Playing this game. Nobody seems to want to talk to me, so I don't even know if I'm still streaming. I probably am. Pretty rough most of the time. I've never seen anyone try to brute force their way through a fight like that. A little better. All right, so I have 2,500. Fine, let's go back. Fight the bull again. Heaven or hell, duel, duel, one. I have no health. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying to all oh what is going on here? Oh, I'm 
Oh, no, I got help that. Oh, no, Huh. Oh, there is a couple moves I'm missing, but nothing important. Or there's one move in particular that I'm thinking of that I'm not doing, but that really has nothing to do with that. Also, it's easier to play a counter character uh, against people, because the computer seems to know every time you try to do a counter. It's like, oh, you, you just press those buttons, I'm just gonna match the stop attacking you. Person's like, God damn it, Bobby. Heaven or hell. Do or do or why? What is going on, giant puppy dog in the desert? Oh, I see. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I have to do that. Catch him after I hit him in the air. Like Which I'm assuming. Alright. <laughs> like thumbs up. Like, hey, okay, let it go. Good evening. I'm done. Nanitozo Yoshinani in Madon. Joe Dunkit sees it. Makate or at the other. Shibara Kumina, I don't need Bakemon of Hutana. Oh, 
There we go, slash. Got him. She's got tiny little legs, that's hilarious. His <laughs> feet aren't even that big either. He's got like metal frames around them. Hilarious. Six metals, nothing. Oh, I got that. Alright, whatever. Nice. Well, that's great. Chip's gonna kick my ball. That's for sure. Mike, first set. Chip, chip. Get ready to run. Otanomimos. Otanomimos. Sotsujinagara. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. This happened way too many times. The thing damage scales are already in trouble. Oh, balls. Oh, I have Typical. All the computer's gonna do. Keep move after super move. There we go. I don't know what that means. Use the master key? I'm not sure what that entails. There's controls on the bottom that clearly mean something, and I have no idea what it means. Brief explanation would have been. You know, she's like, I'm not much of a samurai. You know, I just cut entire worlds in half when I have a sniffle. Siri? Dr. One. The man who gave his entire existence over to... Eddie. That's the name of the demon where that runs a map. Oh, ball. Oh, please. When I throw boob, yeah, that's one way to address the spike and the one I throw boob. Alright, uh, now. Uh, yeah, her hair's cat, his cat ears. Yeah. 
And I guess she's, yeah, she's kind of like a stray. Kind of a theme going with her. Cautious win. I hit him with a giant chain Virgil. Can't read the thoughts of the dead. Never expected that to be a problem. That'd be a problem. Yeah, well. <laughs> Briefing. Well, that's important. Purchase items. I did not know that there were items to purchase, not for sale. Only consumable item in MLM. When the opponent is in self-destruct mode, press activate. It will prevent the opponent from self-destruct and increase the chance of connection. Can be used even when not equipped. Up to nine can be stacked at one. Oh, okay. Equip skill, equip accessory. <sighs> Level increases by having this in your possession when leveling up each new attack. Level increases, okay. Ben Fling, Fate of Soil Fire, Bomb, Poison, Eel. Oh! Key Potion generates a little tension. Potion regenerates a little health. That's kind of frickin' important. Alright, so what's my HP? It's barely anything. Spend all of it, I did. This is like a whole game that I just did, was not paying attention to. Are you telling me that that's not a combo? Oh, is he like invincible up there? Yes, 
Yeah, I know what I need to do. That was an accidental blow in his cancel, in case you're wondering why that happened. I'm sure many of you are fascinated. Mikan is so old. He's just old and beat up. Just, just old, beat up Japanese lady with one arm and one eye and just out for revenge, man. That's like the last thing anybody wants. Collecting wieners. Well, I mean, you know, real ninjas didn't exactly talk on cell phones and beat people up. I mean, they beat people up, but they were at least polite enough to put the cell phone down. Stage 5, alright. So, let's see here. Alright, so I have 641 health. That's not too shabby. Increases have your positions. Well, uh, HP and attack will increase magic. Special price to build items. Bladed magic. Blade attack. Speed, blade attack. Uh, okay, well, that's like super important. So we'll get that. I don't know if that helps any, like, is it because she has a sword? I don't know. We'll find out. Because they're saying blade attack, and then there's items, but there's items. So I don't know if this means... I don't know. I don't know what this means. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Blood ahead though. Get a little better at that. Damn, any crickets he's got the re a reach of the monster. Okay, when I press get up, get up. Got him. Just in time, too. I think he was going to explode right then and there. 
Metals of fire, cool. Made some metal. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Uh, what do we got here? Actually, what's my health? Uh, fast Nogi. I want to buy yeah, the item. Wait. Uh, here, and I go to go back. Here, and I go push. Push Through the series of explosions in your guy work. Drive. I want to figure out what these buttons are, because I'm curious. Oh, it's a man ass. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So how was I purchased item? Potions are sold out. That's lame. Technique? Sure, I'll increase my technique. Oh, I buy that and I be- I get it. Okay. Levels me up. Gotcha. Biken versus Panzer. Biken versus Schmanter. Mr. Schmanter Panzer. Mr. Schmanter the Panzer. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. Right. Let's He's gonna be a Panzer. <laughs> ま、Also, not really paying attention to my moves so well. Uh, I keep hitting Fierce, or sorry. I guess I just had to hold it? I don't know. Oh. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Alrighty, here we go. Got a number three right here. So we got we got no health.
we have low spirit, low magic. All right, there you go. Uh, Slayer just. Ball, Slay, ball. Play a quick yes, item. Charge. S. Special. Or S. E. Charge well, attack. I don't know what that is. Heaven or hell. Duel. 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 One. One. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening. Not that early. Really? I couldn't burst out of that? Oh no, I couldn't. Aha. Come on. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, frustration galore. Uh. Alright, okay. Well, that did nothing Episode. to help me at all. I don't know. Who dares to it did, it did absolutely nothing. Like, nothing came out of that experience other than frustration. And. Only the realization that I do not play this game at all. Sorry, got super into RCT law. Oh, no worries. No worries. I'm just chilling. I'll be here talking. Playing. Hey. 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 Hey.大統領がまことに勝手ながらそちらのどっかの施設を訪問する はい。それでは失礼いたします。あのクソ野郎。おお、いや。何かがおかしい。政府はともかく民間の報道も言論員の事件を濁してやがる。やっぱまだ。なんか裏が。How many saw the new uh, Thor trailer? Anybody? How many saw the new Thor trailer? How about Ready Player One? Anybody see that? No? How many saw Ready Player One? Oh well. How about the new uh, Justice League? Right? New Justice League trailer? Not enough of Wonder Woman's rear end, but you know, plenty of Batman which satisfied me. Yeah. This looks safe. You know, fighting this woman with life and death. And I'm gonna play as Kip. I'm gonna play as any of I don't even know why I even bother saying that. Oh, that's right, I can do this. Okay, hold on. Oh, for the love of Christ. Uh, what was that? Oh, ball. Get off me. Okay, that's no good. That's no good. That's certainly no good. Alright, well, what's this one? Is this... There's, okay, yeah. 
Just that. Let's see there. Okay. Oh, that's the. Uh... What's the uh, cameras? Oh, it's that move. Interesting. That. Alright, so that's that move. Flash. I think it's Donald Trump on his move. Look at that. That's so cool how the fairy just shows up there in the foreground like that. How awesome is that? There's like little things that, that, you know, in these games, it's just like, look at her expression! Yeah, no idea. Natural pugilist, alright. I keep all my promises. I promise. <laughs> and it's him with glasses. That's so great. Uh, you have no polish your technique, no technique, cover it up with power. But one thing that no amount of training can fix is the will to fight. Right now, you have none. Chip, chip, versus Johnny. Johnny. I mean, yeah, if you're going to risk your life against uh, somebody, you better, you better be willing to do it. I mean, you can't be like, oh, it's Johnny. Heaven or hell. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs> ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっ
um, like most people. And so, you know, I was more slow. I was very much getting into things like, you know, anime and underground hip hop and, you know, uh, kind of just underground music, actually. I wouldn't say, like, specify hip hop, but certainly underground music. And, uh. Ah, that's how that combo works. Um. So if I'm correct, yep, I can just teleport up to him. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gonna work at all. It's not over yet. Alright, well, you know what? Um, but anyway, uh, we ended up getting Guilty Gear X at first on the Dreamcast. And we got that through this dude I knew in Alhambra. He had a game store and he uh, gave us copies of games for very cheaply because we could copy them. And so, yeah, so I got under there. Now, actually, the truth is, several years before this, before that, not this, but before that, I was hanging out with a friend of mine <clears throat> that I worked with at another place. I worked at Costco's at the time. And her and I, I don't know, we went to some dude's house or something like that. Like, this guy was, like, got the hot floor, and she was like, eh, I don't want to be a dick, but I'm, let's hang out, like, at his place, because he invited me, so you're coming. And I'm like, okay, great. This is exactly where I wanted to be at the time. But it turned out he had Guilty Gear, which, you know, poo-poo on her. I mean, you know, I got to play Guilty Gear, the first one, actually, on the PlayStation, uh, quite a bit. So I was very happy. Actually, I don't remember. Was this on the Dreamcast or was it on the PlayStation 2? I can't remember. To be perfectly honest. I do think I'm getting my balls kicked in right now. Oh my god. Yeah, balls thoroughly kicked in. Alright, um. Uh, now my thumb's all sweaty and, like, I can't get a decent grip on this thing. And I do have to agree that the. Wow. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's where I played the first Guilty Gear and then back to where I was in Burbank. We used to play this. I mean, it was kind of one of those games where I would play it kind of like how I play most games that, that I don't have anybody that really is interested in playing, you know. And I'm sorry, I fuck the online community right now as far as playing these games because I'm just, I'm just going to get my balls kicked in. There's like, there's no real like, hey, I'm an idiot, are you? I'm just kind of, you know, messing around and doing combos and stuff and slowly getting better. It's just, you know, you're either great or you're so good. <sighs> what did we do? Ah, uh, fuck. You're just gonna fucking do this all day, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You can ask me here. Um, but yeah, so uh, Brian played a little bit, I played a little bit. We just kind of messed around with the game, single player. There wasn't a lot of modes or anything like that in the game, from what I remember. It was kind of just arcade, I think maybe a story. There were some challenges, I do remember that. I don't know if that was exactly the game I'm thinking of, or the version of the game I'm thinking of. It had like 15 different versions. Um, so... Yeah, but um... Turns out, I ended up spending most of my time after work playing this game thinking, I don't know, but it was really dope. And I actually got really good with all the characters. Like, there was a point where I was very good with all of them. Um, went to a couple tournaments in East LA. Can you please frickin' burst? Did I miss something here? Can she not? Can you not block against that ever? Because that's just dumb. 
Anyway, um, yeah, I was really good at it. And accelerando. Accelerating, I guess. Um, yeah, of course I'm going to try again. Um, and I got really good with, I got good with Venom. I wouldn't say I was great with him, but actually my best character at one point was Dizzy. Like, I just was, it clicked all of a sudden. I was like, oh, I just do these things and keep them kind of mid to far range and just kind of, you know, beat them up with these laser beams and stuff. And, you know, believe it or not, the one character I never really got into was Soul Bag. I mean, he's a character that drew me into the game. But, um, Chip is so weak, and yet there's no real... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? That's what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get that? Oh, come on. It's not over yet. Okay. Thank you. Come on, controller. What the fuck, controller? Okay. Thank you. Jeez. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this one I've been using it too much. I don't know. I kind of wear these controllers out like crazy. So, I had an Xbox controller for like six months. But, um, yeah. And that was back when, you know, games were relatively inexpensive. I mean, it was still kind of that trap of you're going to get them from a company. Like a, a decent-sized publisher, usually. But, um, that was just because at the time that the required investment was ridiculous to make a game. Just, I mean, the talent, right? I mean, there's how many people were really going, I want to make games. You know, now it's like everybody and mother wants to make a freaking video game. Um, which is good and bad. You know, you're going to get more people doing it, so you have a better chance of great things happening, but you're also going to get a lot of garbage. Um, and garbage is exponential. The good stuff is not. Um, so, but yeah, the, uh... That was back when you could go to Funko Land or, you know, pick up a used game, beat it in 30 days, come back, return it, get your money back, pick up another game. Um, because that was the return policy. Uh, basically just like, yeah, you can bring it back. Um, and that was fine for them because they would just rotate games in and out. They didn't care. Um, and, you know, you kept, I mean, I kept all the great ones. You know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, SNK vs. Capcom, uh, 1 and 2, I think. Um, you know, the old Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, I mean... Gosh, with Street Fighter Third Strike, there was a version of that, I think, on the PlayStation 2 that had Third Strike and... Will you just fucking do what I ask you to do, controller? No, you're not. You're not Again, this is like five seconds away from just like stealing a controller. This is like the worst I think anybody will ever see me truly be like blindfully raged is, it, is during a game. Like, I will just... I will just go ape if the game's not working the way I want it to. Why can you not do what I ask you to do? There we go. Oh my gosh. Um, the only reason I'm hitting is because the computer's not good. I mean, not good at all. The computer no like, at this level, the computer is doing, like, basic attack. Nothing even special. I'm just not good at this right now. But um, I'm also trying to explain the fact that I was at one point making up for what is clearly my lack of understanding now. It's not over yet. Now it's over. Wowzers. Damn. You are one hell of a geisha. Um, how am I supposed to compliment you again? Why is it going to be so bad now? Which I uh, think is supposed to rain blood. He's a dick. Um, so, but yeah, the. Uh, 
good old days when you could just pick up a game or copy a game, right? There was, there was that was back when like you would just pick up music off the internet. Not that you can't now, but like download it, you know. And it's like, oh, you know, we can't make money off of this, blah 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 blah. And actually, you know what the truth is? You see, a lot of people forget there's something called the profit motive, right? So let's say the first year you open your company, you make I don't know. $50,000. Not a lot, but, you know, first time for a company, right? So, first year, you know, small company, let's say you make too many crickets. Oh, for false sake. Is this really... Yeah, this game is just going to be really finished. Yeah. Um, and so, anyway, let's say you make $50,000. Not a lot. Next year, let's say you come out with a hit game, make a mill. Cool. Next game. Next year you come out, you know, or next, let's say, you know, next year you're sitting pretty, you're kind of just doing little projects here, maybe even just kind of, you know, just keeping up with your own IP, like you're, the one game you released, right? So, like, not here, please. <laughs> you gonna tell these guys that? Um, oh, seriously? Oh, I can't burst. Um, I keep forgetting burst has nothing to do with, like, my actual... Oh, fuck. Blind fuck sake. I could have hit him twice, but nope. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. He's done now. All right. Um, and so let's say the next year, you, you pull in about the same or a percent more. Right? See, now you got a percent of profit. Now let's say over the course of time you make a billion dollars and you're making crappy games, but you're coming out with a few triple A's every now and again. Then people start downloading your crap because they're like, you know what, it's crap anyway. And so you take a hit. That means the next year maybe you made 900 million, 999, or 999 million, 999,999 dollars. You came up a dollar short. That's a lot. So when, when, when you hear things like, oh, you know, these companies are really hurting, you know, things are going down. No, it's the profit motive that was hurting. They were making money. They could pay their employees. It was just their shareholders or whoever who needed to, you know, stick their greedy fingers into it instead of being, you know, good good people and going, ah, oh, you know what, this is the way things are going. We should adapt to this. Kind of like how we slowly but precisely decided to, like, do that. So... What is the ball? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, he's done. He can't, he can't go anywhere. He's already started. Look, he's got heads flying everywhere. Uh, so that's my whole thing on that. You know. That's why games keep going up in price. Yeah. Everything just gets more expensive naturally. Has to. Gotta make more money the next year. So, yeah. But there was a good old day, I guess, before that. Well, not really. I was watching these uh, documentaries on computers, like, you know, uh, kind of refreshing my memory, if you will. Not that I didn't fucking know these things, but um, on the whole, like, you know, just where Bill Gates and all these guys came from. I mean, you know, of my own kind of understanding of that whole situation. Not a mainstream moron. But anyway, um... Yeah, the... The documentaries themselves, the mentality of the documentaries themselves is hilarious. So... Computer documentary about, let's say, um... Just, you know, computers in the nine, early... Well, late 60s, early 70s, around that time. Really focused on the innovation of industry. Like, we can do amazing things with this stuff. Like, we're going to be able to build size scrapers and we're going to be able to do blah, blah, blah. And your guys are going to be like, what the ball? It's going to be the greatest thing ever. You're going to get, like, greater, you know, we're going to have better, better everything. You know, just kind of a, an industrial productive type of stance of the whole thing. Like, that kind of mentality. Um,. Then I fast forwarded, of course, to the 80s when, you know, guys like, you know, Gates and Jobs and stuff were around, you know, the real, the real, anyway, of this world. They, uh, that mentality was totally different. It was like, 
and he was only 21 and he made all this money and uh, look at these nerds all these nerds they're making money off of nerdy things you know and it just was really focusing on kind of uh, the money and 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 the 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 character and not how is this really going to help people like what what am i going to do with this you know and they were just getting into like oh you know this was the very first, you know, computer that had, you know, the OS on it, and it was like these switches and lights, and you had to like turn things on and off, and you program it in certain ways, and it, you know, it didn't even come, the computer didn't even come like assembled, you had to do it yourself, and, and I guess most of the time it didn't even work, which sounds about right. Um, and then of course, you know, there was, I, I kind of got fuzzy, I stopped paying attention when it was like, Apple this, Microsoft this, and, you know, oh, I'm a better asshole. No, I'm a better asshole. No, we both like to enslave Asian people to make our shit. Um, that sort of thing. Um, but nothing really, like, but the, the change was really just kind of the money focus. And then I saw one that was done, like, in the late 90s, early 2000s, probably early 2000s, and it was like, oh, you know, this is neat, you know, these guys, and they're doing stuff, and, you know, whatever, like, you know, like, I don't know, I guess you could do something with it, or maybe, I don't know, like, it was not, you know, it was, like, kind of really kind of fuzzy, fanciful, a lot of theoretical crap that, you know, Theory, in my opinion, is is garbage. Um, anyway, so you know, anybody who runs around talking nothing but theory is obviously a kook because I'm supposed to prove it. Um, yeah, so so yeah, I, I kind of got that impression of like it was almost like this kind of decline of American culture, like in this documentary based on computers, which is like the defining you know thing that you know of of last century, of the end of last century was you know the information age, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Um, and so you know we had this we had this boom all of a sudden, and technology all of a sudden exploded, and then we had all this oh we're going to do this exponentially, and it made everybody sound like, oh, we're actually gripping the future, and yet there's not a flying car in the fucking sky, and you know there's still poor people and hungry people, so what the hell did that do and so yeah, I just thought I found it interesting at how that decline, you know, with, with the beginning being industry and everybody's going to get jobs and we're going to all have plenty and we're going to all, all of us, all of us, all of us, all of us, you know, and then it came to me, 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 money, 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 me, 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 I want more. And then it devolved into, well, I don't know what I want to do. I don't care, you know, uh, and it just, it was very, uh, seriously, the, like the whole psychology of the thing was very interesting, like kind of scary, like really, really scary. I kind of see like... A lot of where the conflicts now arise, I guess, between the older generations and now, to a certain extent. Um, you know, we, you know, we had, I, I, you know, we haven't had the luxury in this country for very long. It's only been about 50 years since we've gotten like really, you know, pretty solid in the whole luxury department, you know. And I'm talking that's after WW dose, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about like. You know, oh, was this, this, you know, because I mean, in the, in the 1950s, you know, we were, as a country, we were untouched. You know, we had, we had destroyed all of Asia, we had destroyed all of Europe, and, you know, not that we did that, you know, on purpose or anything, um, but it certainly did help our position in the world as far as, you know, economically and, 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 uh, militarily for sure. I mean, we had, you know, we had devastated everything, and I mean, we, as far as, like, you know, we showed up late, you know, to the party. We just kind of came in and kicked everybody while they were already putting it down. Oh, I'm sorry, is that not, is that not patriotic? Um, I mean, other than Europe, I would say, you know, had we not been there to distract, um, distract the French, uh, who knows how many people would have been killed by baguettes at some point. Um, but, you know, back then there was no law on the size of your baguette. I mean, it was literally just no hold bun. I mean, there guys walking around with 45 caliber baguette. It was, I mean, bread was just, I mean, it was no joke, Tenor. Bam, boom, bam, boom. That's not going to kill, but it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You're done. Um, so yeah, so we were on top, so, you know, we, we, it was actually, I don't know if you know, but this was a cliche way back when, um, the, the rich, kind of opulent Americans traveling through Europe and 
Eh, Asia kind of. I mean, you know, back then, racism was definitely on the high, so, you know, uh, you're not going to get a lot of people visiting foreign lands that they didn't look like people that were traveling. Uh, but there was, there was definitely a lot of travel. Still, I think, you know, actually, though, I think, to be to be honest, I think we were better, probably better traveled as a people back then than we are now. I, 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 I know very few people that have left the country, um, left the country for any extended period of time. I know very few people that would consider moving to another country um, to do something. Uh, I can think of maybe five or six I've known total that have taken the, you know, the, the chance or is, you know, they are in another country working. Um, and what's weird is the scene here is like a rich thing, like, oh, you have money, you're going, where, you know, in other countries, it's, it's like, no, nah, this is, this is garbage, we're poor, I'm getting out of here. And so it's very strange how that's kind of reversed. I think there's a certain also kind of stigma we get from our own, from ourselves, where we're just kind of like, well, you know, the rest of the world's scary, right? All of Africa is run by warlords, and the Middle East is just full of terrorists, and crazy Christians and Jews just blowing each other up everywhere, and, you know, Europe is okay because, you know, they kind of look like us, you know, we came from Europe, you know, and Asia's kind of neat, but, you know, we'll look out, you know, they might have another thousand-year war or something like that, you know, or might get in an argument, of course, you'll never win because they're such stubborn little bastards, so... You know, it's like, it, 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 it's difficult, you know, Latin America, you're gonna get kidnapped and, you know, drug dealers are gonna get you, you know, it's like, well, that's no good, I mean, you know, it, but it, but that's not really the truth, you know, like, it's, it, it, I think that stigma has, has frozen us and in a way has, has uh, retarded the, this country, and I, and I mean that in the strictest sense of retarding the country, like, I think we'd have more empathy towards the rest of the world and the bullshit we pull if, you know, if we went out and actually witnessed it, you know, I mean, how many people have, have, how many people have actually been to Syria that doesn't wear an American army uniform or military uniform, you know, um, how many have seen what's going on, regardless of what side you think, you know, is doing what and what side you think is not doing what, like, regardless, like, just be there, you know, like, I mean, that's something I would love to, I mean, like, during the whole, like, Arab Spring thing, I was just like, man, I just want to go to frickin' Egypt in, in the Middle East, you know, and I could do it. You know, I can do it. I, I, I'm, you know, I, go, I blend in anywhere. So, you know, I wanted to do that. I wanted to see what was going on, and I wanted to, you know, be in danger like that. And, you know, I, I've had the pleasure and the, the fortune to be able to do so, put myself in rather interesting situations. Um, but... That's the adventure, man. That's the get out, get out, go do stuff. You know, you're gonna go meet some people. You're gonna go look at the world in a different perspective. You speak another language long enough, and the whole world's gonna change your view. You know, something is no longer a chair. You know, it's no longer a house. It's no longer a car. You know, it's there's there's all kinds of things that that can, you know, like you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, machina, I guess, in Eastern Europe, and Cyrillic machina is basically machina is really kind of what a car is, you know, I mean, like, we would think, oh, yeah, of course, machine, you know, machina, you know, like, but to take that solo and just, to, like, to live off of that for a while, off of those words as a description of your world changes things, because the sound, the tone, the phonetic, you know, the shapes of words, you know, they, they define, they define, like, kind of an impression that's given when those words are spoken, and so I think that's something everybody should do at some point, right? So, anyway, that's my advice at the end here, right? Yeah, we're coming up to 7 o'clock. So, there you go, my worldview. So, first you got the history of what or where I got into this game. Second, you heard me swear a lot and kind of be pissed off and irritated with myself because I don't play very much anymore, so I look like garbage now, but, you know, I don't know, I guess priorities. Not sure what that means. Um, then, yeah, then I yammered about some stuff that uh, was pretty much incoherent. Um... After that, what did we do? Uh, we chatted about, uh, gosh, <sighs> mostly about how garbage I am at this game, but, um, Gallery. yeah, and then we got into the whole worldview thing, you know, common sense is not very common, and most people that talk a lot about the things that they know, don't know a goddamn thing. Oh, here we go, I'm using, no, I don't want music, I want characters. Okay, so they're 10 Gs. 10 W's a piece. 
Um, do I have any singles? I didn't do anything stupid like just buy a single set, did I? No. No, okay, good. Uh, who do I want to unlock? Let's see, somebody I'm going to want to play sometime later. Probably do some practice. I think I'm just, you know, guys, when I come back again, I think I'm just going to keep practicing. And maybe if one of you guys has this on PC, I don't know if this is uh, cross-platform, probably not, because Sony's... Anyway, um, but if but if anybody has this, you know, let's do a couple games together or something. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Um, love the game, love it. Oh, Potemkin. Bam. I was just telling you about how he was one of my favorites. Boom. Bam, Potemkin, unlock. All right, well, not unlocked, but it's color. Cool. All right, guys. So it was nice uh, coming on, you know, doing some fighting. I uh, wasn't really in the mood. I didn't really feel like playing, actually. I didn't really feel like playing a fighting game. I, I don't know. I just, you know, maybe I was just grumpy pants today. But, uh, you know, I pulled through. You know, I, did, I, I fought the hard fight, man. You know, I, I played video games. Even though I was not in the mood, I... I'm a freaking hero. So anyway, you guys have a good night. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. We might be on again later tonight. We might not. Um, but you'll find out. So everybody have a good night. And uh, I will see you all next week. This week, Sophie will be on. Ben will probably be on tomorrow with a little help. I don't know what he's going to be working on. Uh, if we're lucky, if we're really lucky, Ben will do a one-hour song or music jam or whatever he calls it. Basically, you got to make something in an hour that impresses him. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, um, so yeah, the, there's that. Um, then we have Brian tomorrow. We have ADD, ADD, which is Attention Deficit Drumming. I still think ADD Drumming is fine, but whatever. Um, attention Deficit Drumming. Um, and then we have Dog Track. If you have Dog Track, uh, remember to send it to, um, I think it's a, like, what, Mint Potion? Studio at mintpotion.com, I think is what it is. That's our general kind of email that everybody gets. I don't, because we haven't quite figured that one out. So, you know, just uh, kicking cans down the road. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, we want your music. Uh, Brian will do drums. If you're really really lucky if you're super duper lucky maybe we can get robbie on here to do some maybe like one-off tips on mixing mastering and being like being like a sexy guy right like if you want to be like a really sexy guy like yeah maybe we can get him on those uh hopefully we get jake back on stream sometime you know he's working super hard so i'm not like pressuring or anything like that but um hopefully he can get a breather which is really what i'm hoping for um catch up on some things and then we can maybe ease in uh, streaming again uh, and that takes care of it right we got me that's about it no we got me we got Brian might have Melikayo or James Jerome coming in for Melikayo's toy box we got Ben who's gonna be you know killing it all week Robbie who we're gonna just slowly try to you know coax into coming on camera um, he's you know like I said this too much sex he can really kind of burn out twitch um, and then what else we have? Sophie will probably be in Thursday playing. I'm not sure what. Naruto, uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, what else? She's playing The Witcher 3. Um, whatever the hell she feels like at the time. I don't know if she will or won't be, but we'll find out. Um, and then new stream coming up. Warhammer 40k is going to be what we're going to be starting with, but we're going to move mostly... I mean, that's pretty much what we're going to do for a while, just because, you know, I can't I, I can't buy every game in the world. Um, so, and I've already, you know, I just put in, like, hundreds into Warhammer just to catch up, actually. Because with the end of Arts and Cracked, and now that we're going on to Paradise, which is going to be our new one, which is going to be more generalist and all that stuff... I decided, hey, I'm just gonna collect a bunch of stuff and catch up, so that way, you know, I got it'll be awesome on stream. Of course, I forgot. I have to put it together. I have to primer it. I have to paint it, and I have to do it all within an X amount of time, which who knows how that is. Plus, all the other stuff I have to do, so or want to do, or whatever. So anyway, that's what's going on this week. 
and in the future. Um, hopefully we can bring some other older title streams back. Um, that would be sick, right? I think a small window was a thing. I think maybe you guys like that, you know? Uh, maybe maybe we can get, uh, you know, some, some focus here, right? Maybe we can get, like, you know, a full, like, start to finish something, right? Right? When was the last time we did that for you? Hmm? When was the last time we started something? Finished it. So, and remember, guys, get on our butts about this stuff. You know, I know you, you know, there's, we, we, you know, you can criticize us all you want. We're open to dialogue. We are open to that conversation. Um, whatever you want to see more of, whatever you want to, you don't like, you know, obviously if you're like one guy and you're like, oh, you know, Flippy Monkey sucks, but everybody else is like, dude, he's the greatest guy in the universe. What's wrong with you? Clearly you have mental issues. But outside of that, if there's anything, you know, anything at all, anything at all, so bring it up, you know, Ben will be on, I'll be on. Um, hopefully, like I said, we'll get some more people on here. Uh, maybe I could use a, you know, get a couple of my friends. I was about to say use, get a couple of my friends on here. Uh, Steven will be back. Uh, he's got a couple of buddies for tabletop. Hopefully we'll bring in for guests. Um, and what else is there? I don't know. I'm always like trying to get like good looking people on the stream. Not that, you know, not that I'm trying to lure people in with sex appeal or with that whole thing. However, I was thinking of getting kitten, which, you know, how do you how do you how do you turn down a screen full of kitten? <sighs> By changing to a screen full of puppies. All right, guys, you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you and see you guys later. James Popstar just started watching probably a year, million years ago, trying to see if I knew how to play Guilty Gear. Probably thinking Guilty he picked up some Gear tips and he's wrong. Anyway. Thank you for watching Flippy Monkey's fighting game Phantasmagoria. I had a wonderful time. I'm Flippy Monkey, and I will see you guys later.